Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're just waiting for Tom Jean Webb to join us, too. We're going to do a quick call today, check in with each other. Uh, he should be joining us any second. Um, for now, I'm going to just tour you around the gallery. All right, it looks like Tom just got on. Tom, try joining in if you can. Maybe I can invite you. There he is. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining. Hey, Tom. How's it going? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Excited about this evening. Yeah, so for everybody that's tuning in, Tom's show, These Whispering Winds, opens tonight from 7 to 9. Uh, this is his biggest canvas. It's incredible. Here's just a quick view of the space. So, Tom, could you just introduce yourself and... Uh, let everybody know sort of what they're going to see today. Yeah, um, Tom Jean Webb, artist originally from London, but based out here in Austin now. So tonight is a new, a brand new body of work that's come together over the last couple of months during lockdown, um, and it represents a new direction uh, and development of some other ideas that have been going on for a while. Um, both technically and in the stories told, but also, you know, in the sculpture presented as well. And, um, I mean, you know, an artist's life is very um, so like the studio, but, but even more so at the current time. So it, right. it's been perspective and, and um, it's allowed me the room to, I guess, play uh, with, you know, those ideas and expand on them and and, um, and have a lot of fun in the creation of this work, I guess. Um, there hasn't been a lot of outside noise happening. Um, uh, and so I've really been able to hunker down and, and, and create this work, and I'm really excited about it. Yeah. So it looks like we've got maybe 15 paintings, which I think most of the viewers are, you know, very familiar with your style. The one thing that, that seems to set this show apart from previous work is all these awesome sculptures that feel like they came right out of your paintings. Right. That's the idea, you know. Um, I mean, with a painting, you know, you're dealing with a flat surface, uh, but you're still trying to tell a very physical story. You know, you're, you're using... You, the tools of your trade essentially to tell this story, this this idea, this perception of a landscape of a physical place, uh, with movement and narrative and emotion and all those other things that are involved in real life put into a canvas. Um, uh, it, it, you know, and in many ways, my you know my work is all about shapes and lines and um, not only what is there, what we're very importantly, what isn't there. So there is this idea of playing with physicality, but it's all a flat surface. And so the idea was to take those principles that I applied to my canvas and then use them in the, to make these sculptures. And, and in terms of the, the production, the paint or my artistic eye, but also the actual physical elements that are in the painting themselves. So the organic material, the rocks, the landscape, and that kind of thing. Yeah. Where do uh, the materials like bowling balls and wrenches come from? Because they're not coming directly out of your paintings. What do you like about those? Well, about them is they imply human interaction. Um, and I like materials to have some element of uh, nature to, you know, i.e. banner, 
metal that's come from the earth. The bowling ball has some element of um, you know, marble about it, but it mm. also they have this other implied human interaction about them, so they have an implied story. They have an implied purpose. Yeah. So I, Yeah, they, they, I mean, a, a bowling ball, you would imagine, is made out of the same material these rocks are made out of, just refined and man-made right. or man-altered. Right, exactly. And that's the idea, is to, like, ha to, enjoy, to have fun with that relationship between looking at these materials, putting into a whole new form and this idea of new purpose, but then taking them back out of that implied purpose or that implied story putting them back with an organic material and then creating this whole new relationship. Yeah. And, and you know, and there's, and it, so there's that element to it, but there's also this element of, yeah, juxtaposing materials. So, uh, you know, especially in the painting, it's about how you create balance with lines and shapes and colors and maybe more botanic paint and, um, uh, Applying that same kind of those same principles to making sculpture, you know, because a lot of the, the paintings um, they have an quality about them, but their their the image is based on real life, you know, they're abstracted to a point. But with sculpture, what I'm really excited about the idea of exploring abstract sculpture, so taking those formal elements from the painting and applying them to a sculpture making process uh, and seeing what you come up. Yeah, they complement the show mm. perfectly. Well, I love how they look with the paintings. So, another thing about the materials I pick is it's all about balance. So the paintings are, a lot of my paintings is about being, you know, I like the sentence, the silence between sounds. Paintings are about this moment that exists pre or post something, you know. Mm. Silence, and it allows the viewer then to get their own story. So I like using materials that you can apply that same concept to. So the bowling ball is in, but you're not quite sure it could roll off. You know, yeah. the, rock, the rocks are clamped up straight, but you don't have full faith in the fact that they could just suddenly fall. I mean, yeah. and I like that. I like that tension. I like that tension in the middle. It's almost between something beautiful and something chaotic. You know, I mean, this is a perfect example of that sense of balance. Right. And, and this piece wasn't meant to be like that. I created it so that the whole rock was one. And in installing it, I dropped it. And there. Uh, but, uh, but I was, you know, okay with that and, and um, decided to see how it would work if I balanced that top piece on top like that. And, and now I love it even more. And, uh, and, and, and named the piece Balance of Change. You know, and, you know, and, and so with the sculpture practice, it's all about accepting the sense of discovery or the unknown into what is my art practice. And that was a really nice example of how allowing that to happen has created this new unexpected piece for me, which is really important as a creative person that you allow that room in your creative practice, because that ultimately is what you make. You make to explore and find about what you, is you make and what it is about you that makes you make and what it is about you as a person. Right. And can we just talk quickly about these two paintings here? Because these together might be my personal favorite in the whole show. So talk, talk to us about the, the archways here. So I create a piece that, I mean, obviously in my work, there's an implied distance, you know, there's a field of vision that, or there's a journey. And I wanted to create two pieces of work that uh, could, they played with that even further, i.e. there's a piece of space between them. And so on the female side, you have the arch, which symbolizes the sun shape, the casting of the horizon and the sun coming up. Um, and the daylight coming, and then on the right, we've got the male figure. He's actually looking through the arch on the other side of those mountains, and, so, and, and the top of his arch represents the top of the sun on her side. And the mountain scapes are—they are, they are the, the mirror of each other. So, and the colours represent the mirroring of each other. So, 
if you see that the pink and grey on the left is actually the pink and the grey on the right and, and vice versa. So you're look, they're essentially looking at each other from either sides of these canvases or either side of these mountains. From a distance, right. It's Within all the, together from afar. I love that, that yeah. diptych. Yeah. Playing with this idea of, you know, a lot of my painting is all about the space. The space that's there physically as a shape, also the space that isn't there that's been taken away. I mean, there's lots of paintings on in this show now that it that I've actually not painted the canvas. You know, it's all it's all about abstraction. So, but the, but, but but in the abstraction, I you know the space in the middle of those two paintings is where a lot of the story is told as well, and that's where you know the, the viewer gets to add gets to play a part. Right. It's empty space questions. Yeah. All right. Well, so your show opens tonight. Yes. Seven to, nine, or seven to ten. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in the Canopy Complex, and Iacosa, I know, will be open, and Bell Creek Allen Gallery has another opening tonight, so there's a lot going on. Um, the rules that we're playing by are um, socially distanced opening. We're letting... Sorry, six people in the space at any point in time. Uh, masks required. Um, you can RSVP via our bio, uh, the link in our bio, but it's not required. It just helps us keep tabs on who will be in the space when. Uh, but, Tom, you're going to be joining us tonight, right? Hello, oh, yeah. Be there. And you'll be here 7 o'clock, 7 to 10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I mean, yeah, for sure. Awesome. Well, everybody, thank you for, for tuning in. We're excited to get the show open tonight, and we'll see you tonight. Cool. Hiya. Thanks, Tom. Have a good day.